creator of brands like Savannah. So I thought I'd ask Robert, uh, how does a comedian stand out and how do you know or select who you book for the campaigns that you do? Sure, so you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Um, I would say by incorporating um, Savannah into your scripts, so your stand-up scripts and also the content that you put out on social media. So um, it should look like the brand is part of your everyday life. Um, it should come naturally, um, and then from there, we can pick up the conversation. So, as you'll be an unofficial Savannah ambassador, um, we can then look at ways how we can involve you in our events, as well as um, our campaigns. So, as Savannah, we also employ comedians as influencers, and we have a special focus on um, comedians that are still at grassroots level, so supporting them, investing in them, before they become South Africa's next biggest comedy sensation. Thank you. So I think it's quite interesting um, that Robert's saying social media and kind of your social media following and you're all stand-up comedians um, and so it really is crucial that from wearing my one-eyed jacket, that sounds terrible but the hat I mean, <laughs> um, it's you know we often if we are looking at booking a comedian or somebody funny for a campaign, you know as much as they can command a room to do stand up, we, we do look at their following, um, just just as Robert said as well, um, just to make sure that they have got an engaged community. Um, also, when it comes to booking a talent for an actual gig, you know, as much as they might be exceptional live and make for a really, really good live performance, we also want the followers to buy tickets to come to the event. So we will often look at sort of whether or not we feel that this comedy act or musician even because we book musicians too it's actually going to help us with ticket sales um so it's that sort of fine line of you want to be a brilliant stand-up comedian but you also need to grow your social media following in order to in order to manage to 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 yacht to to get the kind of bookings that you're looking for um going back to robert so um you work with a lot of comedians on the brand and i'm guessing some are easier to work with than others uh, I'm not going to ask you for the horror stories, but, but what I will ask you is, is there anything comedians can do as a brand to make your life easier? Sure. So I would say, um, like for example, if a comedian is having a show, more than often than not, they come and ask us for financial support. So to go with, as a corporate, in order to invest, you need a really robust proposal. So um, the proposal should include um, a detailed financial uh, support plan, so basically the investment you're asking for needs to be line items, like literally, as to where all that money is going they to go. They can come to the budget, like yes. this is what I need, I need to put my show on, this is what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, because that's the start of the conversation, right? And then also important things like the what and the when, so when is it going to happen and what actually is it that really needs to be clear and succinct. Um, what your potential reach will look like for the show and also what your return on investment will be because um, like for, exa for example for Savannah we look at what our ROI will be, what will we get out of it um, because I mean no corporate will give you a hundred thousand rand without being clear on what they will get out of it in the end. So I think that's the most important thing and what we've been seeing across the board quite recently is like we need that clear proposals to start as a starting block for the conversation. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good point. I think we often get approached for with comedians asking us to help get them sponsorship and then when I look at their proposal they literally want the sponsor to fund the entire thing, which a sponsor will subsidize the cost. You do need to raise the rest of the capital either by ticket sales or bringing additional sponsors on board. Um, but I think having a frank conversation uh, with the brand and saying this is what it's cost, going to cost me to put it on, if the brand believes in you and wants to support you, they're going to be able to offer you what they can or what they think is, is worthwhile or, or, or sort of, yeah. So going back to Dave's Tommy Adesu. Um, 